one of the first times that I realized that I had some psychic sense was when um, I was on a vacation with my family and I could very clearly hear my little brother uh, saying he was um, in pain and needed help right now. And I had to wake up my parents um, who were, weren't happy about it and tell them they had to f call my little brother because uh, he was in pain and needed them right now. And finally when I got them up, uh, sure enough, um, he had just been taken into the emergency room at a hospital and needed them desperately. Not one of my gifts to see people. I just, I will hear things and feel things and especially when I ask or when my heart's involved with it. I think it's natural. I think it's natural for people to have experiences. Some, some of us pay more attention to it than others. I really feel that it's, a, um, it's sort of another frequency that we tap into. I began in this work, uh, let's see, maybe back in the mid-80s. I was fascinated with psychic healing and began a course in New York with a fairly well-known psychic healer, Elizabeth Stratton, which I studied with her. One of the techniques that she helped us to work on to develop was mediumship. Well, and then at one point my father was uh, killed in Southern California. At that point, I met um, a homicide detective for the first time in my life. And um, he helped me move through what it takes to go through a case. When I, when I came back, we were still connected. And I emailed him and asked him if uh, ever he had a case or if any cases that he wanted to just give me just the, just give me the simplest amount of information. Don't give me much because I really wanted my sixth sense to be able to zero in very truthfully and um, pick up um, the information, send it back to him and, and just get a sense of whether or not it would pan out. Uh, so we began to do that. He would email me back and forth occasionally certain pieces of information. Then along came uh, one very important case, one, um, oh, actually one morning, he emailed me that the night before, California Senator, his daughter, Jana Cocklich, had disappeared and asked me for my sense on that. I have a certain method which I've developed on my own, which I fall into. I, when I see that I've been sent an email and I know it's a case, I wait until midnight at night when it's quiet, I'll say it personally, I say a prayer, and I get very quiet inside because I want to make sure that whatever comes through is pure, it's honest, it's, and it just comes right through. Um, and then I open up the case and I read it very quickly, and then I just start typing as fast as I can whatever images come, whatever... Um, I, my tendency is actually to... I find myself sort of, um, I go inside the person, so I basically see what they're seeing. I don't actually feel ever any pain or anything like that, but I can see where I'm going. I can s usually see the people that are, in, that, um, that are near me, and um, quite, a, quite a bit of information comes through, but it comes through, the impact is, is quick and clear. And then I just type it out as fast as I can and send it as quickly as I can before the left side of my brain jumps in and just tears it apart and I'm not quite sure what's what. And so that's my, that's my, for, my best format. The, the, the interesting um, pieces that I sent him that actually did come true, um, the first thing I told him was that he needed to take a look at where it, Something, there was something about the sheets on their bed. And another fact was that there were th certain things that they were going to find underneath the bed. Um, that um, he had asked about where I would find, where, where was this vehicle, because her vehicle had disappeared. And I had a very clear sense that it was in a darkened corner, a very dark corner, up against, um, probably it felt like a... Uh, like cement walls, and that there would be a large green um, surface. They did find her vehicle. 
in uh, a garage in a dark corner uh, behind a green door. I'm not interested in the fame. For me, it is a very, it's very much a heartfelt. I'm not going to give any information unless I feel very sincerely inside that, that I'm clear and that it's right because I don't want anyone to feel be harmed by anything that I would say. Um, and I'm diligent and I don't give up. I would like to get together with the homicide detectives, prosecutors, families, and uh, let's solve some cases.